Hello. I wanted to show you some of the stuff I wear in the uh, fall and the winter when it gets a little cooler. I have these gloves here. They're made by uh, Planet Bike. They have a Velcro closure on the back. And I wear these generally when it's uh, not below the 40s, you know, the lower 40s at the lowest. Um, you know, I don't like to I don't like to wear them when it gets you know much colder because uh, the wind you know the <clears throat> it gets cool enough that, that they don't keep my hands real good and warm. They do breathe a little bit here on the back, and uh, this is the back and this is the front. Little gel padding right here, you know. Uh, but uh, I like them for wearing when it's you know a little bit cooler weather. Now this is a skull cap, and uh, this is what the skull cap kind of looks like. It's just black. Uh, and it has an ear flap here and right here, and it's nice to wear as long as it uh, doesn't get, you know, below the upper 30s or 40s, you know, because it, it just covers my head, but it does keep my head warm. If your head stays warm, generally the rest of your body stays warm, you know. And then I have this baklava, and this baklava right here, uh, of course there's a hole right here, it keeps your, it's for your, it keeps your uh, face warm. And it allows you to see, you know, for your eyes and stuff. And it allows you to be able to see. Um, <clears throat> and it does keep my face and neck pretty warm. Because, you know, it pretty well covers most of my, my face and neck. Uh, I don't know, this here I've had quite a while. I've used this for, for years. And it's nice, especially in the colder weather. Uh, so that I can keep my face and neck and stuff warm. Uh, then... Uh, <clears throat> I also have uh, a jacket here, and I wear it in the 40s and above to the lower to maybe mid-50s. If the wind's blowing and it's in the mid-50s, then I generally will wear this because it's too warm to wear my heavier jacket, so this is about right. And it has elastic on the sleeves, which of course keeps the wind from going, blowing up your sleeve, which is really nice. And then it has this right here, this black right here is kind of where it breathes on each side. And there's some on the, on the back. But now, since I'm riding a recumbent, <clears throat> the wind only hits this part right here. It doesn't hit the back, of course, because, you know, I've got my back against the seat. Now, it does zip. It has a pocket right here. And this is just the one pocket. There's not much. You know, it's not a real deep pocket, but it's for small some small stuff, maybe. You can zip it up. and don't worry about it falling out. Now, there's one back here, but this is more made for a bicycle rider. And it, of course, is a safety yellow or highlight yellow, whichever one you want to call it. And it does have a little bit of insulation inside. It's, it's pretty nice. Actually, it keeps you warm. And you don't sweat, you know, since it can breathe and whatnot. I like it to wear in the, in when it's, when it's uh, you know, not super cold, but it's not uh, <clears throat> too hot either. Now, it, uh, you know, like I say, it has the breathable fabric in it on the front there. And, you know, like down the arms and whatnot. So it's, it's nice f for... Uh, you know, in the 40s and 50s, lower 50s. Uh, I've had that jacket probably at least, <clears throat> I don't know, a couple of years. I don't remember exactly, but it is pretty close to that. And I've used it a lot. Uh, the only thing is, if you get a little dirty spot on it, it really shows up. Uh, and, of course, you can pre-treat it, but it does show up on that lighter color. But the lighter color is, of course, for visibility. I want people to be able to see me. And I want to be seen when I'm riding, so that's why I wear that. And I have some shirts that are high visibility, like that color there, and then some orange ones, of course. So I like to <clears throat> to be visible. Now these, of course, I know are black, but these go on my head, and so that's a little bit different uh, scenario there. But I wanted to tell you a little bit about them, and that's what I wear. Uh, I have a question for you folks. I want to know in your comments. Uh, <clears throat> What do you generally wear? Do you have a lighter jacket or do you have a heavier jacket, heavy gloves, a baklava? You know, what do you wear when you ride <clears throat> your trike in the winter or fall and winter if you can ride? Now, some of you may live too far north and not be able to ride in the winter, can only ride on your trainer, and that's fine also. Just tell me that y'all you can just ride on your trainer unless you're a snowbird and you go south. And then you could probably, probably take your trike with you and ride in the winter also. But, anyway, uh... I'm just kind of curious what everybody may, <clears throat> excuse me, may wear in the winter, you know, fall and winter when they ride. Um, 
just leave it in your, your answers in the comments and uh, thank you for watching.